Hello and welcome to Loki. In this tutorial, you learn how to master three common problems you might face when using Outlook Search. Finding an email you know almost nothing about, wasting time during common tasks such as finding an attachment in a conversation, or getting an overview of emails with common criteria, which is especially useful in the context of e-discovery or controlling. Click on one of the index cards to the right in order to jump to the recording part of this tutorial. An email search should behave like a good private investigator, asking the right questions and quickly coming up with a handful of suspects even though you only provided a few clues. For example, you are searching for an old email on an archived PST file. You only know that it is a summary of contracts your company had and a co-worker named Barry DeColis had received it back then. When you type in these clues, Outlook returns this. 127 mails. Now how do you find the one mail you actually need? Easily. First, click on the Lukeen button right below the Outlook search bar, which opens Lukeen's main window. Here you have a place where you can put all the bits of information you have to use. The mail was sent sometime around 2001 or 2002. You can easily define the starting month by simply typing in the recording number, for example 1 for January and 12 for December. You can enter the name of the recipient in the recording field and the subject line most likely included the word contract. This meager information was enough to reduce from 127 to 13 within seconds. Now you can easily identify the right mail in Lukin's full fidelity preview. A second situation you've probably been in before. You're looking for one specific attachment that was sent in a series of conversations. For example, a customer contacts you, saying that she accidentally deleted your email with the end user license agreement attached and asks you to resend it. With Lukeen, finding this attachment requires only two clicks. Click on conversation, then you see all the emails you've ever sent to or received from that person. They are automatically sorted by type and all the mails that have attachments will be shown on the top, easily recognizable by their designation Mail Plus. And there it is! Forwarding that mail to the client is equally simple. Right click on the result, click forward and you're back in Outlook's message window and can send the mail as you're used to. Finally, you may find yourself in a situation where you don't want to search for one specific mail, but rather a group of emails, such as when you're doing an e-discovery. Imagine you want to analyze all the mails that contain a certain keyword, for example conversations that mention the Federal Energy Regulation Commission or short FERC. The first step in refining that search is by using the filter preset emails in the top left corner. Lukeen will automatically ignore attachments etc. that also match your search string. You may spot some names here that you know are irrelevant to your investigation. You can easily exclude mails from these people by right-clicking on the search result and selecting Repeat Search Hiding and then Same Sender. Now you can use the timeline on the bottom of the Lukeen window to get an overview of when, how many mails containing this keyword was sent or received. By clicking on a month or a year, you can zoom in on the mails from just that time period. This is handy for a detailed analysis, but you may find that the previous search was better suited for your rediscovery purposes and want to save it for future reference. In that case, first click on History. Here you can see all your recent search strings and repeat the search you need. To save it, click on Favorites and Add to Favorites. Name the search, like for example, Relevant Mails About FERC, and click OK. From now on, you can reproduce this exact same search with just one click. This was a tutorial on how to solve three common problems when searching with Outlook. If you enjoyed the tips and tricks, please show your support by giving a thumbs up, leave a comment or simply subscribe to our channel. We'll be posting more tutorials about email search and looking soon. Thanks for watching this three Outlook tips video.